Hello and welcome, Genitora here. Today I'm going to show you how to be as greedy as possible against Auntie Ethel and totally get away with it. By that, I mean you can save all of the masked individuals, secure Mayrina's safety, and get Ethel's stat increasing hair all at the same time. So first up is how do you actually save the masked people? Knocking them unconscious counts as them dying as far as dialogue goes. Removing their mask while they're unconscious actually takes them out completely. All we need is one spell, casting it for every individual party member. Now, you don't have to do this, as you can also just sneak by, but for the sneaky impaired, this method is for you. Pass protection against good and evil on the party. Any summoned pets do not need it, of course. Even more so if they're invisible. I shovel. But yes, summoned pets are completely ignored this way. Next, we want to equip the masks on the table before the wooden face wall. Then we can just walk right in and even talk to the mask people if you wanted to. The mask will also let you safely get through the gas that is placed down, as everything is actually a very strong illusion which the mask dispels. Make sure to take off the mask before the boss room, as you can lose concentration and get possessed by Auntie Ethel. So, a paladin can tempt fate and drop concentration when the mask is equipped for a chance to prevent Ethel's charms through channeling their oath. Unfortunately, it does not seem like the mask allows you to see through Ethel's clones or invisibility during the fight, at least on Tactician. Now, before you go through the fight, have one party member hang back and hide. Preferably, this will be your biggest single hit damage dealer. I chose Gale for the task. Fireball does solve everything after all. Get through the fight as normal, while making sure not to finish off Ethel. Some quick tips for the fight itself. Magic Missile helps out very much by taking out a bunch of clones in a single casting. They may be illusions, but they still hurt. Get rid of them. The real Mayrina is level 1, while the Ethel posing as Mayrina is level 5. Also, the Shit of Order doesn't change either, so you can always look at that to decide which one's the real one. When Ethel goes invisible, just look for her dialogue to pop up and can throw like an AoE of some kind. Uh, Alchemist Fireworks, for instance. However, since we didn't take out the masked group earlier, they will join the fight. Do your best to ignore them. Attacking them now will make our previous endeavors fruitless. We want them to live, remember? Once you get Ethel low enough, she will engage in dialogue with you as usual. I chose to intimidate her into giving up Marina and her hair for increasing my stats. I chose Charisma, but you can increase any stat. We go through the dialogue, and before we say goodbye to Ethel, we swap to Gale, who is still hiding out at the entrance to the room. It is handy to have an invisibility potion just in case, but I didn't really need one here. I tossed Fireball at Ethel and gave her a proper goodbye, and I didn't have to worry about my allies getting hurt as I had Gale set to an evocation wizard. This breaks a spell on the masking individuals. Well, sort of. At least one is still sane, but the others are too far gone. You want to make sure that you progress the dialogue with Ethel to the very last bit before attacking her. Otherwise, you can confuse the game with how Mayrina's status is currently. Also, be advised. Whatever you use to attack Ethel with at the end has to do its packet of damage in a single hit. For example, if you use Magic Missile, it will give Ethel a chance to teleport away unless that first hit does enough damage to lower her HP to zero. That's all I have to say on this subject. Thanks for watching and I hope it has been helpful. Leave a comment below if you know of any other hidden uses for protection against good and evil. I'd be really interested to know. I was even tempted to cast it on the masked people themselves, but I didn't know about paladins getting a chance to resist Ethel until I already progressed through and casting again would have broken my own concentration. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Take care and have a good one.